the launch of the OC50 fund on Neo Connect, Canadian financial advisors and accredited investors can finally see private investments in the RBC fund in the same place they would see public securities listed on an exchange in their bank accounts. We're bringing that exchange familiarity, ease of use, uh, traditionally only available with public securities to the OC50 fund today, ticker OCVII. So the, the team and I are incredibly proud uh, to be distribution partners for you and the Hourcard team here in Canada. A quick word on, on progress from, from here, both at, at NEO and our NEO Connect private markets platform. We're now home to over 250 tickers uh, on the exchange, over 120 now available on our NEO Connect and private markets platform, where over 2 billion in capital has been raised uh, over the years into OM funds, special purpose vehicles and, and private companies. We're incredibly proud to welcome our crowd to the platform. We've uh, set out to do from the beginning at our crowd um, over the last 10 years is to provide access to the most exciting private companies. And what we're doing with this new ticker uh, OCVII is giving people a really remarkable 50 company underlying vehicle. So with one investment, you can tie into 50 very interesting venture companies that are uh, uh, completely diversified according to different stages of investment, different sectors, different geographies. This is our seventh series of this product. And we've got a great track record. You'll hear more about that. Just want to tell you that our crowd itself has already funded 362 direct investments. We've had 59 exits. We funded 48 unicorns. So we're a unicorn factory. Uh, in terms of our realized, you know, performance, we've got a moik of 2.1x, which is very solid. This is one of our group of 39 funds, and we too are approaching two billion dollars in terms of capital raised here. When you look at how we're doing on many of these uh, uh, performances, these are some of our exits. You can see our exits go across the board. And they include exits in healthcare with a lot of interesting, you know, public companies such as AlphaTau and Re and uh, Rewalk, in cybersecurity uh, companies like Kenna bought by uh, 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 Cisco or Lemonade, public in the fintech area, tons of enterprise software. This is just the exit uh, roster. When you look at our you know, unicorn roster, you'll see a lot of names that you might know or that you will know in the future. Many of them already exited. And here's just an example of what kind of returns can be gotten in this kind of a market uh, on individual companies, which are really very dynamic. We are very much aligned in our missions and bringing uh, access to uh, alternative types of products that are not normally accessible for our investors. Um, we believe the venture capital space is one that should be of interest for uh, advisors, for investors, um, for a number of reasons. Um, the venture uh, capital asset class has outperformed uh, public markets in basically any period for any length of time that you can think of um, or measure. Um, it has outperformed other private strategies as well. So it's not just, uh, you know, the alternative space overall outperforms public markets, but venture itself within the alternative asset class um, has outperformed. And it is also not correlated with the public markets. So, you know, you tend not to see those types of swings um, that we have certainly encountered in the public markets over the last uh, uh, number of months. Um, and the, the smartest, most sophisticated, largest investors in the world uh, have recognized this and have continued to increase their allocations. Uh, for example, the Yale Endowment Fund, which is considered the gold standard for uh, for endowment funds in the world, $30 billion plus fund, um, increased their allocation from, uh, for VC specifically from 13% to about 25% currently. So with that, I'll turn it over to Gwonin and he'll tell you specifically about why the OC50 fund um, helps investors access this asset class directly. Another thing that we're seeing is an accelerating pace of technology adoption. Uh, so if we look at uh, airplanes, uh, they it, it took 68 years for airlines to reach 50 million, uh, 50 million users. Uh, Pokemon Go did it in 19 days. So 
we're certainly seeing something that is uh, that is quite remarkable. And uh, venture capital, obviously, we we invest in in private technology companies, and OC50 is really an excellent way to do that uh, with, the, like John said, a strong historical track record, um, but also eliminating a lot of the historical hurdles. Uh, so the first one is that OC50 is available twice a year. If you compare it to a typical firm uh, where they raise a fund every three to five years, you're now able to rebalance your portfolio and allocate to venture uh, on a six months interval. Uh, the, the other benefit, the, another benefit is the unprecedented low minimums. So, his, so established funds typically recharge or, or expect a five, and in some cases, even $10 million commitment. Uh, with OC50, you can do it at just $10,000 Canadian. So when we talk about democratization, we're now making it affordable to effectively any accredited investor um, in Canada. Um, another benefit is the highly diversified portfolio. Like John mentioned, 50, uh, 50 companies um, that are, uh, are widely diversified across sector, geography and stage. Uh, we're sector and stage agnostic and we invest uh, internationally. So for a Canadian investor, um, they will get exposure to um, to Israel, which is a top tier uh, tech ecosystem, the US, um, Asia, Europe, um, and, and, and other regions. Um, and, and finally, because we're so active and we deploy so quickly, uh, there are no capital calls. So this, uh, this entire benefit that you're, you're, we've been discussing uh, is achieved with only one single check. So worker dealers and individuals don't need to worry now for the next five years about those uh, those uh, capital commitments being called within a week uh, notice. Um, and the final benefit is that we we don't uh, historically we haven't had a, a J curve, so the NAV has not gone below one X for more than a quarter. And typically we see an uptick within the first year of uh, of investment, which is uh, extremely unusual in the in the asset class. So OC50 is the new way of allocating to venture. It doesn't require a lot of work on the broker dealer or, in the, or individuals, um, and is a, as a no-brainer as it can get uh, in the asset class. We're extremely excited about partnering with Neo on this, and uh, we look forward to launching many of these in the in the near and long-term future. To you and the entire Outcrowd crew with us this morning. Thank you again for joining us to celebrate the listing of the OC50 fund, OCVII, on Neo Connect. We're incredibly excited to see this progress, and uh, we look forward to partnering with you in the weeks and months and, and years ahead to see uh, how you look to unfold and democratize access to private markets for Canadians. So congratulations again. Thank you so much. Have a terrific day. And this is Neo signing off. Mm -hmm.